about plates, tectonic plates, like I did last time, because because I have nothing else to talk about. <laughs> so, last time I was here, I talked about Alfred Wegener's theory on continental drift. But today, this episode is going to be split into two parts, so stay tuned. So, I'm going to be talking about plates. So, as I explained in my previous episode, the Earth is made up of multiple plates, and these plates are known as tectonic plates. And these tectonic plates are always in motion. You may ask why, well here's why. The Earth can be like slices of pizza, right? And then, so there are a couple main pieces to this pizza, right? So we have the inner core, and the inner core is kind of solid. It's really, it's really, really hot down there. And this is the outer core, and it's kind of liquid. And this is the mantle. Actually, this isn't. The mantle is like kind of chunk. It's super big. So the mantle, mantle. So the mantle is the most important part. So, you know, the earth has magma underneath, right? So when something hot, if something is hot, it rises. That's why hot air balloons work. And when something is cool, it sinks, right? So as magma, so magma is in these cycle things called convection currents. And these convection currents are constantly moving the magma. And the motion of the magma is moving the plate. So how do convection currents work? So convection, convec current. All right, convection currents. So when hot magma goes and it nears like the core, it becomes even hotter. So it's like, wow, I'm on fire. And then it goes, wah, and then it goes up, all the way up. But when it gets to the top, it's like, oh wow, I'm not on fire anymore. And then it goes down, and then it goes this, and this, and this, and it keeps on going forever. So that's why plates move. So. In a plate boundary, when plates move, they can move in multiple ways. So, let's talk about that. So, you can have multiple types of plate boundaries. So, between two plates, there are three. So, you can have a divergent plate. So, a divergent plate boundary diverge. So, when these two plates, they diverge and they go apart. So, they go like this and they go like this, and then they go apart. And I'll talk about that, I'll just explain all the plates, and then in part two, coming out tomorrow, I'm going to explain what this means, how these cause earthquakes, how these cause volcanoes and stuff. And then, there's convergent plate boundaries. Convergent, con converge. So these plates, they go together. And they're like smack, 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 and it makes earthquakes. And the final type of plate boundary right here is a transform plate boundary. So transform, transform. So these transform plate boundaries, so these plates, they go like dish and dish. So they go side to side. So these plate boundaries, um, so they're all different, and they all have what happened. So, um, I'll, I'll briefly explain divergent plate boundaries and then I'll explain these two later. So divergent plate boundaries are when two plates go apart. So, um, also, there are two types of crust. So, in the pizza slice I explained earlier, there's inner core, outer core, mantle, and then the very thin layer at the top, it's, it's the crust and it's really, really Small. And that's what we're standing on right now. So, um, when these two plates diverge, they um, separate different types of plates. So there's oceanic plates, and oceanic plates are plates that are under the ocean. That's that's a. I draw a fish. It's a fish, and these plates are under the ocean. And the thing with these plates is they're really really thin. So. Um, that causes things later. So these these plates are thin, 
And then there's continental plates. And continental plates are what we're standing on. So these are the thick boys. So these are some mountains, beautiful mountain range drawing by me if, if you ask, it's wonderful. And this is like super thick. So, um, yeah, so I just wanted to explain that. So, diverging plates. So, when plates diverge, they can cause a thing known as seafloor spreading. So seafloor spreading occurs when two oceanic plates, they kind of like diverge. So when they diverge, they pull apart and then they reveal the lithosphere and athenosphere underneath. So um, when they diverge, there's just a humongous chungus gap underneath. And then, and then the ocean and the earth is like, oh my gosh, wait, guys, guys, because there's a gap here, what do we do? So the athenosphere, which is kind of like Play-Doh, and it's like kind of like plastic-like in consistency, it rises up, and then the lithosphere, which is above it, they rise up and they fill up the, the, the gap. So the seafloor, as it like goes further and further apart, there's like a ridge. There's like a ridge, and then this is all the magma that has been like slowly on it, and then it's always just filling apart and stuff. So um, these divergent plate boundaries, they can cause earthquakes and volcanic activity under the sea. Under the sea. And then, um, yeah, so these cause volcanic activity sometimes because there's magma, and um, earthquakes because it's moving and stuff. Okay, that's all I'm going to be talking about today, but um, these two, they're kind of more interesting. So, goodbye. Under the sea, under the sea, children are dying. Oh, hi, hi. Under the sea. Do, 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 do.